Okay. Bear with me here. This has an excellent political point, but we have to go through a bad movie and a good book and a really old TV show until we get there. But trust me, the arc is perfect. Okay. In 2009, a movie was released that was based on the graphic novel Watchmen. It was a big, action-y, ensemble movie. It was directed by the man who directed the movie 300. Um, I, I don't mean it to be rude, but it was not a very good movie. Do not, however, let that distract you from the fact that the book on which that movie was based, Watchmen, uh, is a really good book. It's considered to be one of the first uh, of the great, full-length, complicated, dark graphic novels, one of the first great graphic novels, period. The backdrop of The Watchmen uh, is, is the nuclear threat of the Cold War era. And one of the major plot points of the book that is completely changed in the bad movie is that one of our heroes decides to save the world from nuclear war by convincing everybody that Earth is under attack from aliens. His thinking is that all of the people of Earth are going to have to put aside all the stupid things that we fight about and unite to face down the alien threat. The editor of the graphic novel has talked about having wanted to drop that plot point entirely, the ending for the whole book. The author of Watchmen, the brilliant Alan Moore, in 2005 told Entertainment Weekly that while he was in the middle of writing Watchmen, he found out that that same idea about faking an alien attack had been done, and been done very well, in a 1963 episode of a TV show called The Outer Limits. Gentlemen. Monday's near miss was the fourth such incident since the thermonuclear age began. So long as the nations of this earth are armed against each other, we're bound to have more such accidents. And eventually, soon, one must prove fatal. These nations must unite. We, we must make them unite. And gentlemen, we can make them unite. And their idea for making the nations of the world unite is fake alien attack. Earthlings need the threat of a fake alien attack in order to get us to do the right thing here on Earth. Uh, the Comics Alliance blog wrote about this today and noted that the way Alan Moore got around this problem in Watchmen, that this plot point had been done before on the Outer Limits in 1963, uh, the way Alan Moore got around it in Watchmen, see the little red circle part there, is that he put in a little hat tip in the book, where randomly one of the characters happens to be watching that TV show. Alan Moore's way of showing that he is not stealing from that TV show, he is paying homage to it. Uh, my favorite thing about this idea, though, that fake aliens, fake aliens can make real humans do the right thing. My favorite thing about this is not just the bad movie in 2009, or the great graphic novel in 1986, or the Outer Limits episode from 1963. My favorite thing about this idea is that Ronald Reagan talked about this all the time. All this, he, he, he raised the idea of a fake alien attack on Earth frequently as president, I think without ever knowing that he was being kind of cartoony in doing it. I couldn't help at one point in my discussions with, privately with General Secretary Gorbachev, when you stop to think that we're all God's children wherever we may live in the world, I couldn't help but say to him, just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held if suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet uh, outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Imagine all the people in the UN there listening to that, like waiting for it to get translated into whatever language they're listening, and then just, did he really, could you retranslate, did he say that in your language too? If only we were afraid of alien invasion, then we would do the right thing. 
Nobel Prize winning economist and New York Times columnist Paul Krugman made a related argument this weekend for economic policy. Krugman arguing that the U.S. government needs to spend some money doing some stuff to employ people in order to stave off a double dip recession, in order to get the economy going. And we have to do it soon. And he said, he argued on CNN this weekend that if we had to invent a fake invasion of space aliens in order to get the government to do that, in order to motivate us to do some economically stimulative government activity, then fine. Frankly, fake space aliens have been used for worse in the past. I mean, if, if, we, if we discovered that uh, you know, space aliens were planning to attack and we needed a, a massive buildup to counter the, the space alien threat um, and really inflation and budget deficits took secondary uh, place to that, um, this slump would be over in 18 months. The fake aliens will save us. President Obama, for his part, is out doing campaign-style bus tour events in the Midwest today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, talking about what everybody wants to talk about, which is the economy. So far, he is making two essential points, neither of them about aliens. He's arguing that Republicans are trying to block any economic progress, and he's arguing that in order to get any economic progress, we are going to have to overtly do stuff as a government. Congress right now could start putting folks to work rebuilding America. At a time when interest rates are low, contractors are begging for work, construction workers are lining up to find jobs, let's rebuild America. We could be rebuilding roads and bridges and schools and parks all across America right now. Could put hundreds of thousands of folks to work right now. There's a bill sitting in Congress right now that would set up an infrastructure bank to get that moving, attracting private sector dollars, not just public dollars. Congress needs to move. It's not men from Mars, but does it take men from Mars? Or is the actual economic crisis that we are in motivation enough 